the introduction of AI will will significantly impact the, the clinical practice, and, and the most change uh, will happen in the and the availability of, of time. For every um, hour of direct care, there is two hours of administrative tasks, and AI can really become a companion, um, a, a way to to really take away burdensome um, hours of administration and give back time to direct contact with patients. Healthcare professionals, I think, are some of the best placed to adapt new technology such as AI. Uh, and that's for two reasons. Number one, because all healthcare professionals have to act in patients' best interests. So part of that is using the latest technology. And the second thing is there's a culture of continuing professional development and learning, which is the backbone of healthcare. On a day-to-day -day basis, nurses, doctors and others will need to learn how to work with specific types of data. And they will need to learn how to work with new data professionals. And ultimately, we would expect part of the healthcare professionals of the future to be what we call hybrid uh, professions, whereby there is a data science and clinical background, and the new professionals will be able to contribute across the different areas of care. We need to strive to empower a world in which each and every healthcare organization is also going to become an AI healthcare organization with AI capabilities. Data is the material you know, to perform AI on top of, right? So unless you, you can have the best AI algorithms, but if you have zero data, there's nothing you can do. Now, when it comes to AI and machine learning, collaboration is key because it's about data sharing, it's about um, learning from each other. The biggest strength that the EU has is that the systems are designed to collaborate and to work at large scale for population health. Uh, there is not as much competition between the different elements of the healthcare system as there is in the US, for example. EIT Health can play a, a key role in the two most needed areas. On one end, upskilling, which means uh, training current workers with new skills, and reskilling, which is training workers from other industries, right? to become AI experts.